So yeah. So as I was saying last week, I um I the only thing I did uh, off stream was making the metal under the the painted metal, making it a bit brighter. And I kind of like copy pasted a few um, effects. They're off. They're off right now. Uh, disabled. Uh, so I pasted some effects from like a previous work on the steel metal here to work on it. Uh, at the moment, uh, this effect that I'm currently working on, I'm just trying to get it a bit more um, sparse, maybe, because it's a bit too like omnipresent. And uh, I remember I actually have um, effects. For that, like um, this is a burp. basically this is just like a, an overall noise, right? And this one is meant to kind of like reduce it, but like I want to reduce it even more than that. So uh, it's just uh, the intensity of this effect here that I want to to play with. But Yeah, I guess I'll just try with a um, with a level. Maybe I'll put the blur after the level also. Okay, and let's just see how it does. That's the one thing that bothers me about um, Painter is how much it needs to kind of like load and unload stuff sometimes. When like you do experimentation, it kind of like gets bothersome a bit. It has to do a lot with like how many layers you have on the effect for sure. But um, at the very least, once we're going to have it calibrated to the right level, it's really just a copy paste for the rest of the body. So it's kind of like you still win in the end. Oh, okay, the effect did not even happen. Okay. So yeah, that's the effect with having it like a bit more sparse. Um that's that's good. It's um I'm thinking maybe it's uh I don't know how much it's affecting in the roughness, maybe it's a bit too strong. Yeah. Like I'm thinking it should not affect it that much in the roughness. So let's just make it more tame. Yeah. It's more like a slight dirt. It really does pop in the AO though. Which, uh, I'm not super interested that it pops in that much, but I think it's just because it multiplies with all the other like effects that pops in the, the AO now. So cumulatively, it's still, uh, like I might reduce, I will go in the level, I might reduce like the amount of like how strong the white is. And the middle one is kind of like the one that that decides on like how how sharp like these splotches are. Not really visible anymore. Hmm. It's weird how it's actually not really uh, affecting the uh, this part of the metal here. Anyways, 
Um, yeah, also, let's just see if I can actually add a, um, a paint. A different color for the paint here. And see also like how much it affects everything. Let's just uh, add the mask, color mask. So you are targeting these dark parts here. And uh, yeah, it does. It's that's kind of normal also, but it really does like pop the um, the dirt effect and everything, uh, which is going to paint darker. Well, it's not paint. That's more like color. Like maybe I'm gonna have to actually like add this one on top of on top of some of the effects. Or check if maybe some of the effects need to be toned down in this area. It's actually the new one that's really popping in the black areas. I wonder if I should just like make it not so visible in terms of paint and actually go back to making it pop more well also like i mean wait the 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 the, the color of the metal is like way too way too dark now that's not what i i wanted so it's more like a bit more nuanced like this that i was looking for project i love uh love your work man very inspiring thanks much appreciated let's look at it from afar as well and let's okay let's bring that one back in the roughness Okay, I'll I'll tr go with that. We'll see if I keep it. Andre, hey everyone! Hello, 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 hello. I feel like my the effect just got a bit darker. Okay, all right. So um, there's going to be maybe some redundant stuff. Like if I actually activate this, how redundant does it become? Um. Well, this one is not redundant, but it's not well calibrated at all. So, like, it's very, very uh, tight. Maybe if I actually just play with this one, I feel like it's, uh, yeah. It's still a bit, like, blasted. Let's just check if I play with the curvature a bit, if I can get something a bit better. This one is really targeting like the cavities. This 
see if this one actually is just acting on the black part. It's kind of like not bad, but let's just see if there's one that's actually better than that. Hello everyone from Australia. Wow, must be uh, pretty late where you are. Right, this one here. Oh, you see this one here is kind of like the same <laughs> the same effect as um, uh, below, but it doesn't have like the texture associated to it. It's just the curvature. Actually, this one's good. I like it. It's uh, And I find it's already well, well, decently calibrated. So this one we're definitely going to keep. This one is going to be a maybe. Oops, it's not what I wanted to do. All right, now this one here. Okay, good. Those are the uh they're like random splotches like we did on the uh the other one. That's good. How does the level affect it? it lags again. Well, I mean it, it the it, the software started to lag, but um if the stream is lagging, that's more what I want to know because like this, like my software is going to lag at some point for sure because I'm playing a lot with the, the things, but uh, I could hide geometry. I don't know how much it's going to help. Oh, yep. It does. How's the lag for you? Let's check if there's another seed for the uh, this effect. Um, ba -da -ba -boo. Oh wow, this one is uh, this seed is much more dirty. Maybe this one, it might be a bit, I think I'm gonna need it to blur it a little bit. It's a pretty sharp uh, stains. I don't know if I want this. So let's just add a filter. Not so strong. Oh, I think that's good. This one can have a strong effect on the steel, I guess. It's maybe just a seed that I don't like. Hmm. Maybe it's a bit too intense. How can you, um, you can also set the quality from ultra to medium as in, uh, in painter, you mean?
I'm not sure that I um well that's display setting, maybe it's not uh It's already at low. Oh, Miguel, thank you. Anyways. Let's just move on. Hey, Marco, how do you keep in fitness as a busy master artist as you are? What is your secret? Uh, well, no, it's just I have mandatory uh, three times going to the gym. So, uh, like, I do fit. I make things fit around this. Like, I keep just, like, always going. And uh, it's really important for uh, for me. Like, I, I have a lot of, uh, of much more uh, <clears throat> much more energy. And uh, I feel much more better when I actually keep up with this. So I really do make it f fit into my timing. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that. Those are other little splutches. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually need those. Oh, also, it's kind of like a... No, this one's going to be redundant, so I'm not even going to uh, entertain it. But I do need some curvature scratches. That is something I do not have. So let's try this. So this one, I definitely don't want it. This one. Yeah. This one, I'm not feeling it also, so let's remove it. This one's fine. Now, am I gonna make these into this entire effect sharper? I don't know, I kind of like made it more blurry. So let's remove the sharpness. Um, and let's go grab uh, the uh, edge overlay, edge erode, edge erode from uh, from here. Duplicate layer and bring it over here. Okay, it's a little extra. It's uh, it's fine. Is it maybe a little bit too much everywhere? I could. Oh, it's not doing much here. Do I need this? Yeah, I'll remove the warp, but let's try to actually also, yeah, there we go. So that's, that's the one here. Let's try to give it a more, um, maybe it's the tiling of the texture. 84. Yeah, like I want it to influence more. Yeah, okay. So it's not like everywhere. Okay, all right, all right. It's not bad. Is there like a frequency of detail that's missing? I wonder. Still like a, feels like a bit too clean. Let's go back to this um, stain effect that's supposed to be a bit like everywhere. And let's... Um...
No, it's the way that it's affecting the roughness that I don't like about this one. Should be good. Have you heard about the Twitch streamer that got a bump in their head for using too much the headset? <laughs> wow. That's nuts. It makes me want to remove that headset. At first I thought you were actually going to, I thought it was the premise of a joke. So I'm guessing that could look not so bad. Maybe we can try and see if what if I actually apply it to uh, the entire character, what field does it give? I'm not sure we forgot something actually. If I look at the IDs, we pretty much have like everything we need, it feels like. Oh, that's true, there's also the overlays. I just need a bit of time to pop in. All right, so. Does the overlay help on the steel as well? It does. Just for like readability's sake. Okay, that's cool. That could be actually pretty good. Uh, nice. Okay, so let's uh, let's save these. Uh, let's name these um, Mega Gato. Mega Gato Steel, Mega Gato Painted Armor, and I'm gonna save the the smart these as smart material. Save smart material. Create smart material. Create smart material. So now I'm gonna be able to um, copy paste them into a, another uh, part. So uh, let's take the uh, forearm. It's like, let's drag all of that in there. Uh, paint and armor first. Then it's going to be, uh, oops, uh, steel. And then overlay. And let's just wait that it loads. And hopefully I'm even on my masks are gonna work uh, well. Is it possible to successfully join Chaos Mason if I have incredible sculpting, sculpting skills, but I'm less good at technical things like Retopo UV is also pretty good in texturing. Um, it's going to be in your way. Yeah, we do need uh, people to be able to, to do uh, these things. It's extremely rare. We, we get projects that are we're only required to do um, high res and such. So uh, I'd suggest that you, you um, at least get the knowledge on how to do um how to do the the more technical parts like you say that'll be really good for uh for you just in general in terms of like getting a job and everything so yeah i'd say uh just get yourself like any tutorial i'm sure any tutorial about that is decent and uh 
you know, just practice it, make a character, and it's it's kind of like a technical thing. The moment you learn it, it's 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 like applicable very easily to any situation. So uh, it's just a matter of of doing it. All right, all right. So so that's like base level without doing any modification. It already looks pretty decent. There's like this little like splotch here that I don't like. This here is fine. This here, this one is actually very interesting right there. I really like uh, the effect there. Oh, and on this symmetry arm also, it's probably going to be the uh, same. Oh, I'm gonna have to add, add the uh, the paint, uh, the white paint, because I didn't have any on this arm here. So uh, now I get to actually add it. Let's uh, let's do that now. Let's go into paint metal, and uh, let's duplicate the this one. It's only going to affect the color. Gonna put it white, like cream white. And uh, let's apply. It. Oh, well, okay, it's saving. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, to give you an idea on like more than 10 projects that we're working on right now there is uh only one project that requires only high res sculpting and it's very rare it's like uh so yeah to uh, reiterate on your question from earlier Maybe done saving soon, I think. Should, it should. All right, let's get back to this. Daniel, hello. Daniel, I should say. Okay, so let's right off the bat, add mask with color selection, and it's going to be only this. There we go. And let's affix the color right away because it's not exactly how I want it to be. I might change the roughness on it as well. Yeah, it's closer to what I'm looking for. I want warmer, colder. It was pretty good where it was. All 
All right, so let's go check that like splotches effect. I think it's the same one as here. That's like like a bit uh, disturbing. It's weird, kind of like has, has like a like, oily like um, feel to it. That doesn't really bother me. That's kind of cool. I think it's the same one that does those splotches. I think I'm I'm just gonna like re-randomize the thing until like it's because I, I find it's pretty good. Dirt splotches. I think it's actually this one. Yeah. See, it's exactly this one. There we go. So I'm just, I'm, first of all, I'm going to, like I said, I always mark in yellow my effects that I, that had a paint, um, a paint uh, mask on it. So I'm just going to delete the previous paint mask and add another one. But I'm also going to just play with the seed of the effect to see if I can just get like a, like a version. So this one actually, like, I, this effect is not working really well in Triplan R, or not at all. Oops, didn't want to do that. Triplan R, is that true? And here, Triplan R, is that true? You see, like, even with the Triplan R, it's actually not really working. This one actually shows a lot of our, the seams and everything. Um, and this is one of the rare cases where, like, the way we did the UVs is kind of like in our way and but it's going to be it's really easy to fix it's just a question of like getting like a a seed that already looks good from the get-go uh which one was it the first or the second one yeah just getting like a seed that works kind of see already this one is better now this one doesn't is maybe lacking a bit. There's like two seeds we can play with. This one's interesting. It feels like um, <laughs> when playing with seeds like this, it almost feels like gambling. It's like, oh, do I take a chance? Is it better or do I, do I take another chance? See, this one made it worse. Like roulette. All right, so this one also is problematic near there, but I could actually just like paint, paint it out so... But the gambler in me wants to keep pressing seed until I find something that I really like. Hmm, this one's not bad. It doesn't even actually sh is that bad in this section here. It's pretty dirty at the bottom here, but like, it's like nearing the floor. So it's kind of like, it gives it like a reason to be dirty. Here, it's really cool what it does. You see, this one is pretty good. I think I'm gonna keep this one here. And uh, we're gonna add some manual paint. Um, let's get like a an alpha that looks uh, that looks good. Probably this one. Oh, wait, what did I just do? Uh, but yeah, what I just do? Size, it and flow, go path. Maybe it's just the uh, alpha because it's a uh, one with reaction.
that's not going to work. Dark splotches, hairline, but I just want a chaotic one. A shop. Come on. Come on. Tell men by us, Galan. Hey, Marco. How's it going? How's it going? Come on, come on. Fibers, dirt splash. I feel like this one is not going to work. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, felt. No, I don't want felt. Shock. Oh, that's that one from earlier. Like, by the picture, it looks like it's going to be good, but... Wasn't there just one that's called Scratch? I keep using, yeah, Scratch. It has this, like, weird effect on it, though. It's not even, like, working. Feels like it's, like, for masks, some of these brushes don't work. Oh, this one is not working super well. Jeez, how complicated is it to find just like a... Is it, oh, is it because I have a lazy mouse? Ah, okay, it was just a lazy mouse. Oh well, all right. That's not good. That's not good. That could be good. Let's reset my paint mask in case I fudged it up. See, now I can just look, take a look at the uh, actual material. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. All right. Remove it in other areas. I feel like the rest is pretty... Maybe it's like a bit too intense here, though. That's kind of cool. Okay. Me likey. All right. Good. 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 All right. I feel like maybe like the. Uh, this should be my new uh, Mega Gato paint armor since I actually have the uh, the color uh, masking for the brighter the brighter paint. So let's uh, delete uh, Mega Gato paint and armor. Yeah, let's delete this one. Oop, and let's save this new one here. Create smart material. Cool. All right. Well, that went well. So uh, let's uh, extend it to uh, the hand, I guess. We're going to have the full mechanical arm done by then, and uh, we'll be able to try it on the body. So that's, yeah, that's really like the cool part about substance. The moment you get like a recipe that works well. You can just go to town. That's the steel part and the overlay part. And we let it load.
Hello, hello, all. Hello, Rich 3D. Hello. Okay, all right. Oh, do I like that the joint in the middle is dark like this? I guess it's fine. I guess I don't need to be that picky. It actually already looks really good. Huh. I don't think I'm going to need to make any modifications to this one. Ooh. Lucky, lucky us. Huh? Isn't that great? All right, so let's pop the rest. And let's go for the leg, I guess. Working our way up to the head. And the head is going to be the one with, like added work because it's an organic one but i might actually go and grab some effects from the the frog project got frog skin over here i don't know if it has everything that i've been working on but uh yeah i mean the legs is going to be next for sure the leg will have a few added materials though so uh all right let's do it leg Pop, pop, and pop. Starting to be exciting. Oh yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm really happy of how it looks now. But all the like the nice material and the effects and everything really adds life to it. Very cool. <sighs> hey, Matt. Boom. <laughs> All right, let's just let it load. Let's check the chat. Never-ending Pikachu. The meaning of life is subjective and can vary from person to person. Finding happiness, fulfillment, personal growth, other find meaning in relationship, love, and connection. Also, making positive impact on the world, leaving a legacy. Ultimately, it's to each individual to discover their own purpose and find a meaning in their journey through life. That's pretty nice. I feel like it's not the first. You're, it says it says first time chat. I kind of like have the feeling it's not the first time that I read this this text but I mean it's a eh, any positive thing uh, is a good thing in my in my chat all right I did put the the feet uh, dark like uh, instead of like having the blue I'm wondering now if that was a good idea I might actually go and remove it. We're going to need to add the synthetic effect here also. The oh, also the um those like cables are um mixed with the the metal, which is not Okay, so we got a bit of work on on this one. Let's look at the back. Not bad. Kitty buns look okay.
All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, here, here, here. Where's the the blackening? Oh, wait. Oh, the feet are considered steel. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have to um, add a uh, paint. Uh, paint by selection, entire object. Oh, and uh, paint to black. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I prefer that. Much prefer that, after all. Yeah, Substance Painter is great. I wonder if I'm going to make those paint canisters uh, not dark steel. Let's go in here and a darker color. Let's also add like a paint mask and, and mask it out of it. There we go. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's better if it's with the, the lighter steel. Also wondering if uh, I should do the same thing for like the uh, hydraulic over here now. Yep. I find it's better. Let's go ask the same question here. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to prefer it or not. Yeah, I also prefer it this way. The joint parts here, I don't mind. It's like attracting more attention and uh, it's fine by me. Okay. So we got this, we got this. Before starting to create the uh, missing material, I'm just going to adjust the, uh, once again, like the splotches thing here. So we're going to continue to play roulette. Um, have you tried Mary? Uh, I did years ago. And I uh, did not particularly like it, but it, it does not mean that it's a bad software. It was just a question of like my taste and how I felt at the time. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, randomize time. Oop. Oop. Hmm. Okay, how the back looks for this one. Since uh, both legs are in symmetry and close to each other, I'm uh, I'm not going to really want to have like details that are too visible. Oh man, it's really intense at the back over here. Eh? I think I'm just going to go and like Paint them out a bit. Okay. 
That, that, that's good. All right. I'm already happy with that. Okay, so on this one we have uh, cables, so it's going to be more like rubber that I'm going to... Um... Hmm. Actually, I'm just going to do a save here while uh, All right, are we done with saving? Not really. All right, we're good, we're good. So yeah, plastic, so I'll need I'll need rubber. Let's look at my ID map. Yeah, so those, yeah, there's going to be like black rubber, orange rubber, uh, this like beige rubber. This black rubber here, so two types of black rubber. Maybe the black can be a bit shinier, the orange can be more matte. Oh, there's also orange rubber here. Yeah, or else, I'll, or I'll just just I'll put it to like a. That's uh, that's really just it, eh? Okay, all right, and those I'll have to actually manually select because I did try. I did use like a, the same color as uh the uh, painted metal, so, uh, okay, all right. Do I have a rubber from my Mikael thing? Mikael, yeah, Mikael rubber. Mikael rubber two. Let's go, let's use that. So let's start by just selecting it. And what I'll do is turn everything to off. And I'm going to put the base color to like a nice purple. There you go. So it's really visible. It already has a mask, but I'm going to just delete everything and use one paint. Let's 
let's put it white. All right, let's just go select everything by hand. There was an option to never see the um the wireframe, I think. Oh yeah, it's just reduce the opacity. There we go. Okay, right there. There we go. Is there something that's rubber that I'm forgetting? Well, maybe uh, I could include this. Hmm, let me just check something. All right, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, so that'll be good for the uh, selection of uh, the rubber parts. Love your website, by the way, man. Definitely got my eyes on an insectoid fella. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, anybody that wants to look at what I'm doing in general, my portfolio and everything or what my company does at the bottom of the screen you have the links you can go visit uh all of our social medias are there so you have uh you have the choice so yeah let's uh, go and give them a uh, base color so uh let's go for like uh, dark well actually let's assign them all their correct values right now so there was this, who was, uh, that's one of the base color. Then we're going to go and we're going to duplicate, only take the color. And this duplicate here will go uh, black mask with color selection, pick orange. And you become orange. Whoop. And also the last one, which will be uh, duplicate from that, remove the color fill. We're just going to go with uh, paint. Well, actually, no. Why? Why? Let's just use color fill. Whoop. There we go. And you're going to be the color of what I put on the ID. There we go. So those are the proper colors. I just need to make the the rubber more interesting with some effects. Let's just see if like the base effects are good. 
grain? Do I want grain? Well, if I want grain, first of all, it's going to be much finer than that. I'll keep a tiny bit of grain like this, I guess. This here is, what does it do? Oh, I think it's just uh, to make one part of the steel, of the, of the letter, of the letter, of the rubber different. Some edge. Okay, it's already decent what it does. Borders. What is a borders? Well, it has to do with a color selection. Let's remove this. No mask. Clear mask. No mask. Remove mask. There we go. Is it just... Okay, it has some effects. It also has like a base material. Not sure if I'm going to keep it though. Um, okay, all right, that's some weathering. There's some, there's a couple of things in there, it's not bad. Like a noise thing, I don't know what it is. That, I don't know what it is, also. There's this. There's a garage. And the edge doesn't seem to influence much, but. I don't see what the layer does, but whatever. All right, let's just remove it. Then the garage and the edges. Okay. Let's grab all of this. Put it outside of this folder. Okay, garage is a bit intense. It's just affecting the roughness. Let's just lower it here. Oh, oh that was the edge. There we go. Let's make it slightly dirty. Now the edges. Let's boost it up. Oh, it does not respond really well to the uh, the UVs. This one. Oh, it's the yeah, it's a generator that's outdated. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna remove this one. The grudge is a bit intense in the roughness, I find. Also, I feel like it should not affect. Uh, I kind of like feel lazy about this one. I'm just gonna Yeah, okay. Just that is good. Do you have any other talent? Like do you play the banjo or something? It's really funny you're asking me that. I actually do play the banjo. Not uh, super good, but I can do a few things. 
like I could follow uh, I could follow with like a small uh, small band on a few simple things. Uh, but I mo my, mo mainly I play uh, I play guitar. Actually, whoop, you can see my guitar right there. Zing. Right. Wait. E. There. There you go. <laughs> At least it's one of them. Now I remember your Les Paul model. Yeah, I do have a Les Paul, but it's not a Gibson Les Paul. It's a Bernie Les Paul, which is a kind of like a Japanese manufactured Les Paul that kind of like became illegal in the middle of like its production. So it's like a a rare uh, a rare thing. Fun thing to have though. All right. So this is another effect. I feel like this is kind of like getting a bit overkill with the effects. I don't feel like I need this. Damage. Uh oh, it's like tiny scratches. Yeah, that could that could be interesting. I'm just gonna make them more uh rare. That's the actual fiber scratches, and this this is this is kind of like the uh, the mask to to tone them down. So I'm just gonna add like a a uh, level on top, and just reduce its like frequency. Ah, okay, that's more what I was looking for. Okay, yep, yeah, just that. So I'm feeling like the cables could be a little bit brighter, a bit shinier, sorry, and maybe like the um the synth part here in the in the metal. So also I'll, re I'll rename it uh Where's the rename? I think I got to rubber. So this one orange, I'm actually going to give it like uh, the roughness channel and I'm going to boost it so it's a bit shinier. Uh, 
All right, the damage on it really dulls it out. I'm not sure which one of it is that really dulls it out this much. Oh, surface grain. Yeah, maybe I'll... Uh, Okay, should be fine. And uh, this one as well. Let's see if uh, more roughness is a bit more interesting. Yeah, I guess it is. Maybe it, um, the grudge effect maybe is a bit intense on the roughness. Yeah, I feel like uh, this grudge effect uh, is not going to work very well with both of my types of rubbers, so I need I might need to split it per per part. Yeah. So Let's see one thing. What if I go in roughness and I change the layer in roughness to like multiply? And then will that work? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Actually, it would be more like screen. I think I will. I will need. All right, that's cool. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now I'm kind of like wondering if. Oh no, it's true. It's not really gonna. Is it gonna work? Hmm. Yeah, I got the Greco one here. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, would you, would a stylized artist fit in Chaos Mason project? We have a lot of stylized project. Uh, maybe not at the moment this much, but like we do, uh, normally we do. So yeah, absolutely. We do stylized, we do realistic. Oh crap, how has that rubber gotten so shiny? Oh yeah, it's because the... Uh, yeah, okay. I should not do a color select for the uh for uh, this one here. Should do a and then duplicate this because we're going to need a uh, orange shiny and orange normal. Orange shiny is only the cables. And this one, which will not affect the roughness. This one actually I can go and go get it with the color select. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
We are good. Uh, is that? Oh, oh yeah. Now I wanted to maybe try to do something about the this here. I'd like to give it kind of like see if I can give it like a pattern, like a carbon carbon fiber pattern or something. Just anything. Um, okay, should I just add like a fill material to, to this? And what do I want it to affect? Actually, you know what, I won't add it into the material itself. I'm going to add it as a fill material here. I'll just duplicate the mask. Okay, carbon. Attributes. Now the thing is I'm gonna have to uh, There's a thing it's only going to work if I can actually make it work by projection. UV projection, planar projection, cylindrical projection. Yeah, but not around the entire model. It needs to be per leg. This is kind of like an effect that should have been embedded in the, the model, actually. Except if I can choose the projection parameters. Because now it's not going to work because all of my UVs. Ready projection setting. Huh. Am I going to be able to get a get away with this oh, so now it's No. Is there a way to see the Let's 
let's see like the projected cylinder I wonder. Ah, this is not going to look good if I try to hack it like this. Huh? There's a possibility that it's that there's no chance that this is going to look good also. This is not going well. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, saving. How do you manage to save and archive your files? You don't use a simple external hard drive or your personal project for your personal project, do you? Uh, I always back everything on personal hard drives. I bought myself uh, like uh, one or two uh, hard drives that are like pretty big, like a few terabytes. Huh? And um, but on my computer, I, I already have like three hard drives, so it's like my computer has enough space for for anything. I just uh, it's it's hard drives that I just keep I just kept accumulating them throughout like buying new computers buying new hard drives that comes with them. My main hard drive is not really big; it's an SSD, you know, but um, I have like data hard drives on the side. Uh, you know what? Starting to believe that like this was a crazy stupid idea. It just doesn't make sense. It can't, like, without seeing, like, where the cylinder is, it's just like a guessing game. See, now, like, I'm, it's not working with the front. I have to figure out, like, it's the rotate. I really wish I could just see the uh see where the projection is. Kind of like in a key shot. 
Okay, shot's pretty good with that. You can see like your projection shell. I think I'm just gonna drop this. It's just an, uh, getting annoying at that point. I'm wasting time. So yeah, this is like an example of like maybe something I should have actually add in uh, ZBrush directly in the shape. I feel like uh, Yep. Yeah, this is something I should have added in ZBrush. I I uh, I confirm. I confirm. You see the projection on the UV map. Yeah, but I don't want to see my UV map. I want to see the projection. I want to see the like the geometry, the 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 the, the cylinder of the projection like to be able to really like like englobe like this area here. If actually somebody has like the answer, just like hit me up, send like a comment or something. Uh, I'd be uh, I'd be glad to uh, to learn that to know that. I mean, I could check on the internet as well, but uh, I'm kind of lazy. All right. So you know what? Um, I'm actually having a meeting really soon, so I need to prepare. So I'm going to call it done for the moment. And uh, next uh, time we're going to finish the torso. There's not going to be that much different materials. And then the head. And uh, we'll be done with the textures. So uh, let's save uh, this. Uh, boom. Save, 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 save. And... Uh, yep. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for joining in. That was cool. A little uh, texture uh, session over here. Well, there's a chance that we're going to be able to be done next stream. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much getting there. It's really nice. Um, really excited about that. So uh, yep. I mean, uh, thanks everyone for joining in, and uh, I wish you uh, wish you a good week, and uh, I'll see you very very soon. So take care, everyone. Ciao, ciao.